All right, thank you. Um, we, we hired Dr. Kim as a part-time employee a few years ago. And I don't, didn't have any idea that he um, would be so smart. <laughs> because he just applied to our part-time position and, and then when we found out how devoted he was to Christ, and teaching, and, and, and we found out about his mind. Um, the Lord blessed us with a full-time position. <laughs> Let me just make sure I'm, I'm old enough that I have to see my notes. So, how many of you were here for the welcome week or the, the student time this weekend? Were you some left over? Okay, good. Glad to have you here. Um, I get to serve over four departments uh, with four chairmen, and that's the school is called the Science School of Science, Math, Technology, and Health. So we have a kinesiology department. We have a biology and physical sciences department. We have a math department. And what am I missing out there? Engineering. <laughs> Engineering and computer science department. And how can I forget? And um, we had some programs approved in engineering. Do you want to share those later? You told me. OK. I was late. I was still halfway here, getting halfway here, getting halfway here. <laughs> I made it. <laughs> so, we are so excited about the engineering and computer science department. And Dr. Eichmeyer, raise your hand. He was our computer science department for years, basically almost alone. And we prayed and prayed for engineering to come and more computer scientists to come and then Professor Creator came. So prayer works, but we gotta be patient. So we've been blessed here. If you're interested in science at all, please contact me or the university at any time. We are blessed to have many students going into the health professions and, and all the sciences. Um, one of my favorite stories to tell is one of our students who is with his wife, um, a husband and wife, doctor and nurse team at the Hospital of Hope in Liberia, or I should say Togo, West Africa. And they graduated in 2006 and 7. It took them 10 years or so to get to France to get their language skills done, and they've been in Togo now a couple years. Their children just went through some bouts of malaria, and they're doing fine. But uh, what a privilege it is to serve here. Our department was started, we've been doing science for 50 years, started by Dr. George Howe, and Dr. Dennis England, both who migrated from Westmont. And I'm looking for, I don't see Dr. England. He went to Utah when he retired with everyone else in California that went to Utah. And, um, um, but I see Professor Lawson right here. Wave your hand. Okay. She served here many years. She, she came along as their student and then taught here for many decades. Um, environmental science, plant science, ecology, actually everything. <laughs> because in the 1970s, 80s, 90s, the, we didn't have enough teachers to teach specifically, specific uh, subjects. So thank you, Professor Lawson, for being here. It's good to see you. So I was tasked with biocreation and biotechnology. Am I, am I too loud or am I good? OK, so I'm teaching here without a microphone. So and this is forward and backwards, OK. Good. And funny thing is, my talk will end on the same topic as Dr. Kim's, and we didn't plan this. So um, I'm trying to figure out how that happened. We, we put our slides all in one place, so we could, and then I started to look at his slides, but there's like 300 of them. So I, I never got to the light part. So. So biotechnology, what is biotechnology? Biotechnology is the exploitation of biological processes for